Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. Israel has to be re-educated. All right. And Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans throughout the four winds of the world and Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen nations. You have to be re-educated. All right, and I got the word re-educate right here, the definition, to re-educate, to educate to train someone in this in this instance, a, a, a nation of people in order to change their beliefs or behavior. We're, we, you need to be re-educated to change both of those, your beliefs and your behaviors. All right, because the beliefs that you've been taught have been all stem from Christianity, all stem from the Catholic Church. Okay, and those result in the certain behaviors that our people display. All right, you know, eating anything they want, you know, uh, uh, doing all matter of wickedness, sleeping with your neighbor's wife, coveting after your neighbor's goods. All right, you know, being homosexuals, just all this wickedness that our people display because of the belief of Christianity. Christianity is 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 convenient for 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 this world. Everything that everything that Christianity promotes is is convenient. And it's uh, world friendly, all right? The truth about who you Israelites are, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans, are, are you, hey, you're not supposed to be part of this world, all right? Because this world spews nothing but wickedness, all right? Uh, 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 um, just just pure wickedness, okay? And, and, we're, and we're a holy people. We're supposed to be a holy people unto the Heavenly Father. We're supposed to be close to the Lord. We're supposed to be princes of the power, all right? But how, how have we become, you know, how have we come so far from our power? Because we haven't, uh, 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 um, we've been following the ways, the wicked ways of this world. That's why we have to be re-educated. We have to uh, uh, um, be trained, all right, educated uh, uh, in, in a proper way, all right? And that starts first with repenting from your sins, all right? Understanding that you are a, ch a child of your Heavenly Father, that you are chosen, you're not a chosen vessel, Lord willing, you're a chosen vessel if you're part of the elect, but you're a chosen people unto the Heavenly Father, and you got to start acting like it. OK, but our people like to, you know, go along and get along. They like to live in that wicked do as thou will spirit. And that's going to end up end up getting a lot of you jakes out there smoked. All right. Getting judged. OK. But as the scripture said that we would we would be discontinued from our heritage that the Heavenly Father gave us. Our heritage is the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. The names of the Heavenly Father and his son. OK. Uh, uh, um, the, our high holy days. All right, we've been stripped of all of that. We've been we've been keeping Christmas and Fourth of July, Easter, which is about to come up. Um, uh, 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 um, what is it? Uh, uh, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, all these wicked ass holidays. They're they're not our holidays. All right, because we've been stripped of our heritage. We you know, for so before we had this truth. All right, before this truth came on the scene, we didn't have a heritage. We didn't know we didn't know who we are. We were calling ourselves blacks, lat you know, blacks, Latinos. All right, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, um, Brazilians. These, these are all names of uh, 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 the majority of them are land masses. Brazil. Or, or, or if I'm born in Brazil, does that make me Brazilian? No. Okay. You, you, hey, the Heavenly Father gave us a heritage. He gave us a, a holy name. He gave us our, 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 our tribes. Okay. Our respective tribes or where we're from. He gave us our heritage, but we've been discontinued from that. But we have to come back to that. All right. And, and it's, it's going to be a remnant that's going to come back. It's going to uh, hearken unto the prophets, hearken unto the words of the Lord and return from their stiff, their stiff neckness. All right. Uh, um, uh, and, and return back. But that two thirds of Israel that 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 refuse to be reeducated, that are going to be reeducated by Esau uh, um, coming into this new world order. Hey, hey, they're going to be judged for that. All right. And they're going to come back in the right mind in the kingdom of heaven. All right, where they have the law, statutes, and commandments written in the inward parts where they'll never go off, where they'll never have to be re-educated. They'll never have to be taught because it's going to be in them. It's going to dwell within them. All right. But hey, they're going to have to they're going to have to feel that judgment. They're going to have to feel that harsh judgment 
All right, uh, uh, that 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 last great ass whooping from the How about Shemiah Shah. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter uh, seventeen and verse four. In thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not, for ye shall have for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. All right, the Lord is man. The Lord is pissed off at Jake right now. All right, that's why. You know, he discon uh, over captivity, over captivity. He can. It was a a long um, a long stretch of us being discontinued from our heritage, from the Bab from the Assyrian captivity to the Babylonian captivity. All right, from the Persians and the Medes, we still have some of our heritage onto the uh, uh, the Romans. Excuse me, the Greeks and the Romans. All right, then then we were dispersed throughout um, western parts of Africa, parts of Asia, parts of. Um, uh, uh, Europe, but we still had some part of our, our our heritage. We still, you know, to a degree, knew that we were Israelites. But you know, we went into captivity under Esau, and and our, our our heritage was beaten out of us. You know, where we didn't know, we didn't have a clue of who we were. All right, we were calling ourselves after after what our enemies told us we were. All right, we were calling ourselves, like I said, Puerto Ricans, which means rich port. All right, uh, uh, calling ourselves El Salvadorian, which just means the savior. OK, because, you know, they they converted a lot of Jakes down there in Central and South America under Christianity. All right. So we've been hey, this devil. Esau has done a, a, a job on our people, stripping us from our heritage that, you know, and, and this was all this is all by design. If you go to Psalms 83rd chapter. Um, Psalms 83 and I started at the top. Um, I started at two. For lo, thine enemies make a turmoil, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, meaning Israelites, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no may no more be in remembrance. And that's what they did. They they helped forth the affliction by cutting us off off from our heritage. And they never thought we would come back uh, um, unto these laws, statutes, and commandments, unto the words of the heavenly father unto you know our, our true heritage which are the children of the most high which are which is yashar all right prince of the power all right i'll read a little bit more they have consulted together with with one consent they're meaning they were all confederate against us all the heathen nations all right even if they didn't have their hand in it, they stood by and watched all right so they're guilty by association they are confederate against the the tabernacles of edom the ishmaelites of moab and Har the hagarenes Gebal and Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher also join with them. They have hoping the children of Lot, Selah, do unto them unto the Midianites and the, at, at, as to Sisera as to Jabin at the book of at the brook of Kishon. All right. So all these nations are going to get payback from the Heavenly Father on to, because of what they've done to us. All right. Not just cutting us off from our heritage and slaving us. All right, uh, 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 beating us, raping us. They're going to get a payback for that. All right, in, in this, at the end of this wicked kingdom and in the kingdom come, the kingdom of heaven. Okay, but our people have to be, like I said, we've been cutting off from our heritage. We have to be re-educated. We have to, uh, uh, um, you know, realize that, yo, this this is not a proper way of living. All right, okay, go to go go to school, go to go to high school and go to college. And, 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 and you know, when you get out of college, you're in debt. So you get a job to try to pay off that debt, but you incur so much debt so you're just a debt slave to this devil to this system to this beast okay which 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 now you you know jay can't even retire because there's so so there's so much debt and, and the cost of inflation and everything is going up all right you got jakes that have been retired that's, that's that's getting jobs again all right that that's how bad it's getting here in america where this devil wants to keep you a slave forever all right and and, and but this is but they're telling you this is a way to live this is a this is a righteous way to live you know just if you work hard you work hard and you you know uh pay your taxes and take care of your kids you should be all right that's bullshit all right this is a wicked ass kingdom all right where where, where and the only way it's thriving is on the on the backs of israelites the slave labor of jake all right this is the book of hosea chapter 3 and verse 4 for the children of israel shall abide many days with ali king Without a prince, without a sacrifice, and without an image, without an ephod, without a teraphim. That, that's us. All right. Many days, you know, many, many centuries. All right. That we, that we went without these things. And these things are a part of our heritage. 
All right. Afterward, the children, afterward, shall the children of Israel return. All right. That's what's taking place right now. Our people are being reeducated. We're returning. We're repenting and seek the, the Lord, their power, Yahweh and David, their king. And they shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. And we're in the latter days where Jake is waking up and Jake is becoming is beginning to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushua because that, that's that's been an issue with our people that they don't really fear the Lord. All right. And, and you know what, Jake? You know, they, they fear the Lord to an extent. All right. Because you see Jake come by camp and sometimes they'll turn down the music or, you know, they'll, 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 they, they won't they won't scoff because, you know, they fear the Lord to a degree. But there's a lot of bugged out niggas out there that don't fear the Lord. All right. But and, and, and that are ultimately going to get judged. But it's a it's a small remnant out there that 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 have a, you know, that fear the Lord to a certain degree where, you know, they they may not just be just just this completely ignorant of the truth, you know, even though they haven't, you know, fully come in, but they 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 know something's not right with this place. All right. And and a lot of those Jakes are gonna return because we're living in the in the latter days where um, you know, things are happening and Jake is be is beginning to wake up. All right. Jake understands, you know, deep down in Jake, they understand something ain't right here. All right. You know, you got, you know, it's just just the wickedness of this of this place, the the you know, just the 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 constant, the constant grind in this place, where you got to do, you know, just to try to make it. You know, you have you, everyone's living check by check. Your shit is fucked up, man. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter uh, thirty and verse twenty. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers and thy ears shall hear the word behind them saying this is the way walk ye in it when they turn to the right hand and when they turn to the left and that's taking place the, 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 the your teachers the true teachers are the apostles the elders all right the uh, uh the men that are really proclaiming this truth of your how about shimao shai that have the 100 percent truth okay not just gms but there's other brothers that teach the truth also that teach the same doctrine we teach. And, and those brothers got the truth too. Okay, but hey, 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 Jacob is Jake is inclining their ears to hear the words of the prophets. Okay. You, um, so hey, we're, we're living in those days. All right, where 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 Jake is gonna um Jake is gonna begin to be mindful of these things, of, of the things that is going on, of the of the of the uh, upcoming destruction, because you got Edomites out there that are even, you know, um, you know, looking into the truth and you know, wondering about this and who could be saved because, yo, they understand that, yo, the times that we're living in with, with potential World War Three, World War Three is, is something that is, is being spoken of uh, 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 every day now. All right. It's in, it's, it's World War Three. And you got even the, the, the world leaders speaking of World War Three. If if, uh, uh, if America joins this, if a NATO joins this war, it's going to be World War Three. And they know that. All right. And these Edomites know that you Jake's need to realize it is beginning to realize that, too. All right, because when, when when shit kicks off, it ain't no ain't no turning back. Ain't, you can't turn back these plagues. All right, and as World War Three is kicking off, you're gonna have an increase of famine, increase of food shortages, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 different type of pestilence. Okay, and, and of course, um, your governments are gonna be coming down harder on you, being more strict, which is gonna bring, which is gonna lead to uh, anarchies, which is gonna lead to race riots, which is gonna lead to uh, um, uh, these streets being shut down in martial law, so it's going to get, it's going to get, uh, 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 it's going to get real shitty out here. That's all you know. That's all. I, 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 that's all I can really, how I can really uh, phrase that, you know. But hey, Jake is Jake is waking up, and, and, and in the process of them waking up, they're going to have to be re-educated. Meaning, they're going to have to begin to call on the name of the heavenly Father, His true name, not Jesus, not Most High and Christ, blessed, not Christ, it's Yahweh. Is the name of the heavenly Father who you ignorantly call God and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is the mediator of the new covenant. All right, who who is going to marry us back to the heavenly Father, the nation of Israel? All right, so you got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to the heavenly Father to get to Yahweh. All right, so those names are important. All right, and starting with uh, following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You can't, you know, hey, you just coming into the truth. You can't keep. We can't. No one can keep all uh, 614 laws or however many it is only one person was able to do that and that was our lord yahweh shai but as you come into this truth and as you gain uh experience and um 
you gain experience and you gain knowledge and wisdom, you'll begin to, uh, can, you can start to um, follow the ones that you can keep. All right. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 1. The second epistle, beloved, now I write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. And the Lord is stirring up the pure minds of his elect right now and putting them in remembrance of these things that we once knew. Okay, because the reincarnation, everyone's back to serve their purpose. All right, the prophets are back to, to, to prophesy uh, unto the children of Israel, prophesy the downfall of Babylon. Okay, and, and, and the, the, the elect is back to be sealed and to be delivered. All right, but the Lord is pure, uh, is stirring up the, is playing on the minds of everyone in these last days, stirring up the minds of these world leaders, these, these wicked ass Edomites, all right, to, to serve their purpose as the wicked. Okay, and come down with great wrath because they have but a short time, as the scripture says in Revelation 12 and 12. All right, and he's turned with the mind of the elected to return unto him. All right, verse 2, that ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of the uh, the commandment of the uh, commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. All right, and that's speaking of the prophets in Yahweh Shai. All right, these, these um you have to be, you, the Lord is stirring up your minds to be mindful of these words, all right? When you hear the prophets of the Lord, speaking of World War III, you hear the prophets of the Lord telling you that you're the children of Israel, that you're a special people unto the Heavenly Father, all right? Hey, these things, Jake, these things start to play with Jake's mind and, 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 and they become quickened with the Spirit and begin to wake up unto this knowledge and to this wisdom, all right? This is um, Deuteronomy chapter two, excuse me, chapter four, I'm going to start, start at verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this is a great and wise and understanding people. All right. Hey, that's what these nations, they, that's how these nations are supposed to look upon us. That this is a this is a great people. Look at these. Look how look how look how what type of uh, look at the the manner in which these people live, okay. And that's us being re reeducated. We have to come back to that. Where these nations are looking at us, they're going to look at us with great fear, but also with great um, admiration. Like look at these people. They, they, this oh, I see why this is a great people, okay. I see why you're not supposed to eat the you know these certain meats that you're supposed to. Uh, uh, this is a certain uh, uh, type of diet you're supposed to keep. You know, I see why. Um, you know, uh, um, you know, the, you know, just the just the proper way of living. All right, and, and our people, we don't even live in a proper manner right now. All right, our, our diets are all fucked up. All right, you know, our, um, the women don't know how to uh, treat the the men, and the, and the men don't try to know how to treat the women. All right, this family structure is broken. All right, these 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 kid, these these, these, these uh, so-called parents are bringing forth these little demons that are going out here and terrorizing things and, you know, just being niggas, all right? So as a nation, we're all jacked up right now. That's why that remnant that is coming back has to be re-educated re and, and begin to follow the Lord uh, in a, with a sincere heart, okay? Um, uh, verse 7, for what nation is there so great who have the most high? Yahweh so nigh unto them, and the Lord our power in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that have the, have statutes and judgment so righteous as all this law which I set before thee this day? And that's the nation of Israel. All right, the true nation of Israel, not those people that's calling themselves Israelis over in the land. All right, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Um, but hey, that, that, that wisdom becomes, the beginning of that wisdom comes with fear, as it says here in, uh, Proverbs one. All right. This is Proverbs one. And, uh, I started at five. A wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. And this is the wise counsel that the men of the Lord are prophesying and, and preaching. All right. This is, this is wise counsel. All right. To tell you to get right with the Lord. All right. To turn unto the heavenly father, call upon his name, lean upon the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in your times of trouble. All right, that's wise counsel. You know, build your faith. All right, have faith in the Lord. Don't put your faith in America. Don't put your faith in Babylon. Don't put your faith in Esau. Don't even put faith in your own self. All right, put your faith in the Lord. Okay? 
Verse 6, to understand a proverb and, and, and the interpretation, the words of the wise in their dark sayings. And as you grow in the spirit, you un, you'll begin to understand these words of the wise, these proverbs, these um, these uh, these dark sayings, these secrets. OK, but, you know, the, the more you stay in darkness, the, the you know, the worse off you're going to be. But those that come into this light, all right, that that are willing to be reeducated because there's a lot of niggas out there, whether they're young, you got old bottles that. They hear, they hear the truth, they understand it, but they won't walk in it, all right? Because they, a lot of them, they don't want, they, they figure, you know, uh, uh, their mind is made up. They can't be re-educated. They can't, you know, um, you know, put away the, the, the shit that they, the, all the BS that they learned in this world and, and, and follow uh, uh, the new path, all right, which is, uh, um, which, is, which is this truth. All right, verse seven, the point, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but the fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's the beginning right there. All right, the fear of the Lord. Then you'll be increased. Then you can be re-educated. Re but until you begin to fear the Lord, none of these, none of these, none of these, uh, uh, this wisdom, none of this knowledge will, 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 uh, will dwell with you. All right, the scripture says in, uh, what is that, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4, that w uh, wisdom will not dwell in a malicious soul. All right. I got a few more scripts and I'm going to close out. Let me see. This is the book of Baruch uh, 2 and I'm going to start at verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. That in, we're, we're in the land of our captivity where Jake is beginning to remember themselves. The Lord is bringing uh, uh, these things to the elect's remembrance. All right, that, that we are special people unto the Heavenly Father. All right, that, 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 that you know, um, we do have a power that, that, that is for us, okay, that we can lean on, that we can depend on. All right, verse 31, and shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. All right, the Lord is opening up our mind, opening up our ears, opening up our eyes to see these things, to see these prophecies take place. And given us a, uh, um, you know, the hopeful elect a chance to repent and, and turn unto him so we could be saved from the destruction, all right, from, from being destroyed, all right, from the wrath of Yahweh Shai. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And, and that's what we're doing. We're praising the Heavenly Father in this wicked land, all right, uh, Babylon, America, and, and Jake scattered throughout the other, uh, other, other uh, parts of the world, all right, are, are, that are in, in, in captivity also. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before me. All right. And everything is coming back into remembrance. All right. We're remembering our wicked deeds and we're repenting from that. OK. Got one last um, scripture I want to close out on. Um, Hosea 1 and uh, 10. I'm sorry, 10. Yet the number of children of yet the number of of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye should, ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. And no one is calling us the children of Israel. All right, no one is telling us we're princes of the power. Okay, but the, but the servants of prophets, the the the, the, the men the Lord has ordained uh, to, 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 to has opened their eyes to, to pro proclaim this truth to you are telling you this, okay? And and eventually, all right, you're going to have 144,000 and the one-third of Israel proclaiming and, and calling upon the name, all right? In verse 11, and then, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together. That's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, all right? And appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel. All right, and that one head is Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai, you get the Most High, Yahweh Shai, and King David. All right, that that's that's the, that's going to be the ruling order. All right, then you got the twelve, and you have the elect, one hundred and forty-four thousand. All right, so and 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 that that's where we that's that's where we're pushing towards. That's where we're going. That's where what what what's what's taking place right now. All right, but the children of Israel have to be re-educated. You have to put away. The old man, you have to put away the ways of this devil, the ways of this world, and come out of that shit, man. It, it, you know, if, if if you're not looking into these scriptures, because the, the Israelites are making, all right, the, 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 you Christians read the scriptures now. And if you're not reading, if you're reading these scriptures, and you don't understand that 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 there's a difference between 
Israelites and the rest of the world, all right, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, the rest of the world, you just a bugged out nigga. The Heavenly Father, you know, you you were just, you know, you're basically born to be destroyed, born to be a two-third. All right, so um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, Shalom.